Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? So we have seen in the last week, particularly again, it seems like it's going to happen, it's definitely going to happen, because in some high subjects like maths and other subjects, they don't have the teachers in the country as we know, uh, but no more folio, or if it was them, because again, no more folio knows everything apparently, uh, she knows nothing at all, but I love it. Um, instead of, you know, trying to encourage maybe young teachers that are gone to New Zealand. Our best and brightest is going to other countries, basically. They're very lucky to get them, but they shouldn't have to go to another country to teach. You know, we, we need teachers here. We need Irish teachers here. But, unfortunately, it's it, it's impossible for a, a, a young teacher, I remember even young teachers when I was at school, to pay the bills. That, that's the bread and butter. Simple as that, to get the bread and butter on the table. It's difficult, it's not easy for young teachers, for the elderly teachers that are there at doctor's years, you know, it's easy enough for them. But the young teachers coming out of college having to pay your back loans for cows, take for example. It's, it's not easy, I'm sure people know themselves. Um, and you know, they get underappreciated in this country, young teachers too, coming out of college. It's not easy. Uh, it's not an easy career. Uh, and number 40 again, just didn't bother to encourage teachers to come back. Because again, there's no encouragement because, you know, why would they go... To a country that doesn't value them more, that they'd be valued more in Australia and have better conditions and stuff, better pay. Um, but yeah, number four is lunacy idea now. Before that was to stop teachers' breaks. That's that was the one thing she came up with. No wonder that, and then that obviously went well because everybody laughed because she's on her break herself on a career break. Um, so that didn't go well basically. Um, but yeah, nobody thought about it apparently. Nobody in the in her department or herself said it might not look well. You know, if we ban teachers for having it, me on one myself. Uh, it might not look too well for her, but um, so yeah, so the next thing they're coming out with now, so teachers have to go to many schools, to different schools, you know the way one teacher, if he was, uh, take for example, there's a high demand of woodwork teachers, right, I, I don't know what's the subject, but take for example woodwork teachers, um, then a one woodwork teacher be in one college, like take for example if it's in Calvin Town, he's at one college, take for example he's at uh, one of the colleges of the town, right. And he's there for the morning, right? He's there. He has to go at 12 o'clock. He has to go down to Virginia. Because that's the next secondary school college for woodwork. For woodwork class there at half one. And then, he ha and then for the other classes in the evening, he has to go all the way up, up to Black Lion. Up there, Swan and Bow, up there. Because that's nearly what's probably going to happen. They'll be set halfway around the country. Um, and that's lunacy. Lunacy. It's literally lunacy. Uh, and it's not good for the teachers. Obviously, it's students and the teachers. It's not good for them. Particularly the students, because again, the students are missing out on education. And again, as I say many times before, education is not the, the be all and end all, of course. Uh, it's about who you are as a person more than the education. Um, but yeah, and obviously, you know, everybody's a white education and stuff like that. But, you know, the system is fucked, let's be fair. And that's just putting it lightly. Um, the system is actually fucked uh, beyond belief now. Um, but as we know, there's no encouragement of any Irish teacher. There's no incentive for any Irish teacher to come back to Ireland. No, no incentive at all. That's the point I'm raising here too. That there's no incentive. There's no. There's no effort made. Like there's a very lackluster effort made to try and get new teachers. Try to get more staff. Try to get S and A's and stuff. There's very lackluster effort. It's kind of like whatever. Basically, the, in the Department of Education, and Norman Foley's head, they don't seem to give a shit. Like that's the. We all know number forty doesn't give a shit. Like she's the one person you can tell that doesn't literally give a shit about anything. Um, and but the people in the Department of Education don't give a shit either. Um, but it is unfair for the it's unfair for the students. It hurts the students more than it hurts anybody else. Uh, the lack of teachers. I even remember when I was at school. Um, some a lot of classes we didn't have teachers and things that we had to basically do nothing and have the class and we were leaving sort of the time too. But it wasn't the school's fault. I don't blame the the the, the principal, the perhaps put the any of them. I don't blame them. The year hello and that. Uh, I blame the Department of Education because they simply couldn't get the teachers. As simple as that, they couldn't get them. They couldn't find them for love or money. Uh, and it's the Department of Education's fault because let's be fair, if they said if Norman Forty came out in the morning and said you know I'm going to give teachers a pay rise or we're going to try and get help teachers who come back to Ireland from other countries try and incentivize them to come back home. No, not at all. Not a word about that. Not at all. Couldn't do that. And even I was told that there was a person from Canada, a school board from Canada, one of the school boards from Canada came over to Calvin one, one day last week. One person was trying to recruit Irish teachers to go to Canada and saying that you get, we get you good rates and houses and things like that. You'd be able to afford a house. 
you'd be able to afford a car, you'd be able to make a life for yourself. And a few Irish, a few teachers from Cavan didn't go. They went. They, they went off and they said, fuck this country. And, uh, you know, I, uh, we totally answered, wouldn't, I wouldn't blame them. We totally, I honestly wouldn't blame them. I think it was from uh, British Columbia, down that, 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 over that direction, near Alaska. Um, so, you know, fair play to them. Again, they were offered, you know, because they were getting better conditions, better time, better hours, you, you name it. But basically, no one set the field to stay. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's why I'm talking about this at the moment. There's no one set them at all. So there's a few teachers less in the Irish education system. Because, as I say, the system's fucked. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the beginning and end of it. But yeah, it's just it's just a, a slow decline. Like, literally in the years to come now, in about two years, the whole Irish education system probably will collapse. Not going to lie to you. So, it's desperate. It's desperate. 